Hello everyone, it's Sabrina from Sap Soaps. Today I'm making um, another guy scent. I'm going to make Bay Rum. This is one of the uh, most popular guy scents that I, that I make. I just love it. I think they eat it in the shower, not bathe with it. <laughs> but beyond that, that's all good. As long as it's, uh, as long as they don't get sick from eating it. <laughs> I guess. But anyways, um, I'm using my favorite uh, Bastille recipe. Um, it's olive oil, coconut oil, and cocoa butter, like usual. Um, everything is at room temperature. I have the scents and the color. Um, it's just a two-tone color, and I'm doing it in a tiger stripe. Um, set nice and simple and easy, but fun for me to do as well, because of course the guys aren't interested in glitter. Uh, beyond that, um, we're ready to go, so let's get started. As I'm pouring the lye water, it reminds me of a video I watched recently because, yes, I spend a lot of time watching soap videos myself. And there was a guy that said, you know, to keep your bottle of vinegar on hand. And I'm, that is absolutely correct. But before you would think about actually um, pouring vinegar on a lye spill, there's safety that you need to consider. So if you're going to put an acid, pour an acid directly onto a base, you have to expect that there is going to be a volcano effect. Like when you put vinegar and baking soda together. With the volcano effect with lye and vinegar, you also get heat. So if you were to spill lye on yourself and immediately douse yourself with vinegar, you will burn yourself. <laughs> Even worse than you would if you were just the lye, because the lye does take a little time before it starts to set in and starts to burn you. The trick is to dilute with water. Dilute, dilute, dilute. Then, once you have the lye cleaned up, sopped up, and d diluted as much as you possibly can, then wipe up the area with vinegar. There's still some coconut oil from the smelting for my next batch over here. There's still some coconut oil in my spoon here. <clears throat> so, um, when you're working with lye, there's things, certain things to consider. You need your apron, you need your gloves, you need your glasses and you need vinegar. But don't just dump it on. Dilute it, dilute it, dilute it. So let's make one of them blue. Um, in here, I have some um, blue aquamarine that I have um, already mixed with water to prevent any, you know, any lumps and that sort of thing. So first thing is let's pour some in and see what damage we're looking at. I need a paper towel. On. 
Yes, I like to prevent. Yes. Oh my. Okay. It's kind of hard to soap in. Be cleaning up. I normally mix the aquamarine in olive oil. I was advised to try mixing it in water instead. I don't like adding more water to my recipes as I use a water discount, but I'm not necessarily liking how that's blending. Let's give it a bite and see how it turns out. Oh. Obviously it came out quite well. <laughs> came out even bluer than I was expecting. Um, oh, look at that. Wow. Alright. Well, it's normally a, like a lighter blue. <laughs> Not this time. Give this a bit of a wipe down too because I don't want to put that back in the, in the white now. I love these uh, tiny sheets. Remember, if you're going to clean that off, take it off the power before you stick your fingers in there. You don't want to stick your fingers in there. No, you don't. Today's all about safety. Soap and safely. You're safely soaping. All right, let's close this one up. Okay, all right, so I have um, I have everything tidied up and ready to go. Um, the tiger stripe is actually really, really easy. You just pour one color on top of the next color all in a stripe down the middle, and it slowly starts to fill up the mold that way. Um, it's a beautiful technique, um, definitely for more than one color, <laughs> or you won't be able to see it. So um, now, I'm not, I'm not sure which one I want to start with. I want a, a white soap going to be blue, or let's start with the blue. And the beauty is, it doesn't have to be perfect. It will just be perfect. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. my camera won't get set it up in a better angle. Oh, this fragrance is just it's so fresh and spicy and sexy. It's no wonder the guys love it. Okay, 
here. This is getting a little boring, so cue music. enough that I can at least texture the top of it and then we'll be done with it. some glitter on there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, it's beautiful. There we go. Can you see it? Can you see it in there? All right. Gorgeousness. I'd give you a nice close up before I went to bed. There he is, the bad boy. The bad boy Bayram. Alright, well, we'll see you in the morning and we'll give this bad boy some cutting and we'll see what we've got inside. Good morning. So we're ready to go ahead and unmold. Let's unmold that here. It's really heavy too. Oh, there we go.
wonderful blue color. So it was my first time mixing the aquamarine with water versus mixing it with a little olive oil. And I have to say, the color is just, I smell soap all over. The color is just awesome. So let's cut this open. Sorry, I'm just cleaning up little bits from the edges. All right. So it is snowing again. Surprise, surprise that it's snowing. Look at the blue. Mind you, the blue looks more of a periwinkle on my side, although. Be just the uh, just the filming, and I promised myself I was going to line this up for you within camera shot. <laughs> this time, now I try to be careful with this cutter because it's a really deep wave, and if you're not careful, it wants you to cut really skinny slices, and then you have to be. Just love the uh, the tiger swirl or stripe. And for this particular scent as well, it's just it's just a perfect match. And as any soaper, I'm sure would tell you, we try to. Um, you try to match the the look of the soap to the scent, you know, just because scents have a look. <laughs> they have an imagined look inside your head, I think. I really love the stripping on this. It, the, it was so... Um, Thin for the most part, that uh, thin trace when I was pouring it that was able to make mix fairly thin without blending together or looking gloppy. So I do have a few of these still left on the shelf, but. My guy customers are going to be happy that this is curing once again. I never usually get to have more than a few in stock all at once. Looks like a happy face in the middle there. Oops. Smile. Bar has a smile. fragrance oil that I'm working on as a new design is a, it's like a, 
Oh, it's coffee. Not quite just coffee though. It's like like a coffee latte kind of scent. So I'm figuring what I want that bar to look like. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it with um with like a, a medium chocolate or chocolate well yeah, because I'll be using cocoa to color it. Um medium chocolate bottom and a swirly white and dark dark chocolate top. Coffee beans. I wonder if, as a bit of an exfoliant, if I shouldn't um, put in with just a, some grounds. Excuse me. bread last night. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'll just put that aside to cool. We'll deal with that later. Sorry for the interruption. Alright, back to the soap. Really is an electric looking blue on the camera. I'm wondering if that's what's gonna if that's what it actually sees because it's really a a darker sky blue, like almost a periwinkle. No, it really is a periwinkle. I'm really I love periwinkle blue. Out of all the blues, I love that color. I love the blue. Of all the shades of blue, I should say. Lovely. Just, just gorgeous. Okay, it looks like I got a silver here in the end. Give me a moment here to get my camera down and I'll give you a Okay, here they are. A whole bunch of masculine beautifulness. I want to get in and show you the stripes up close. Such a beautiful bar. And it's such a beautiful fragrance. Guys really, really love it. And there it is. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, see you again next time. Bye.